So, how you doing? I'm Calvin. It ain't Jimmy. <laughs> Tonight, what do you want to do for the clothes? Next, on I Ain't Trippin'. <laughs> How you doing? I'm good. I'm great. I'm, I'm having a good night. So, I came across this story. Trayvon Johnson. It's an older story. But what got me about the story was was some of the editing part. Um, what I want you to do is I'm going to take you, let's take a look at the story. I want you to get yourself together because it's going to be a bumpy ride. <laughs> so, here it comes now. A homeowner fights back, shooting and killing a would-be burglar. Police say she shot and killed the teenage thief while he was climbing out of her window. CBS 4's Gabby Fleischman is live at the scene with the latest. Gabby. Vanessa, neighbors tell me that this home has been burglarized in the past, which is why the homeowner set up these surveillance cameras. Detectives say the security system actually alerted the homeowner of the break-in last night. We did get a chance to speak with the sister and the cousin of the young man who was killed, and they say they don't understand why that homeowner had to take matters into her own hands instead of waiting for police. I don't care if she have her gun license, her rights, or any of that. That is um, way beyond law, way beyond. Relatives of 17-year-old Trayvon Johnson are angry. The teenager was shot and killed last night by a homeowner who police say was protecting her property. He was not supposed to die like this. He had a future ahead of him. Trayvon had goals. He was a very funny guy. He was very big on education. He loved going to school. He loved learning. Last night, Miami-Dade police say the D.A. Dorsey Technical College student burglarized a home south of 79th Street near I-95, just blocks away from where he lives. Detectives say the 54-year-old homeowner was alerted of the break-in by her security system. With officers already on their way, she rushed home to check things out, and police say she was armed. She observed a subject exiting the home through the rear. According to detectives, there was a confrontation and one shot was fired. Johnson was pronounced dead at the hospital. Hey, what's wrong with her? She did not have to shoot him. There's no reason that she should have waited until after he walked out the yard to if try to shoot him. If she called the police already, then why would she shoot him? Relatives say they don't believe Johnson stole anything from the home, but detectives would not confirm that. You have to understand, you have to look at it from every um, child's point of view that was raised in the hood. How he gonna get his, his money to have clothes to go to school? While the investigation continues into whether the shooting was justified or not, Detectives want to remind the public that, if possible, it's best not to take these types of situations into your own hands. If there's any type of situation that happens or they believe uh, there's a burglary at their home or any type of confrontation, dial 911. Have the police go out and make that confrontation. That's what we're here for. And police say the homeowner is cooperating. She was taken in for questioning last night, but so far no charges have been filed against her. We're told that the state attorney's office is still reviewing the case. Live from Northwest Miami-Dade, Gabby Fleischman, CBS 4 News. So, that was the story. Trayvon Johnson, young man, young black man, still going to school, has lost his life. He broke into a woman's home and tried to steal something or whatever the case might have been. And she caught him on the way out and now he's no more. And we feel sad because another young man, another, another young black man is now in the news with the same type of crimes. Now that's, that's we know that that's a problem altogether. Um, we're gonna catch that in a minute. But before we get to that, I want to talk about these two women. They were stalking. See, and this, this is just me. This is just me. You might be different. This is just me. First of all, they talk about this woman shot this kid coming out of his window. You know, like I know, in the hood, you ain't got to be stealing nothing from nobody and get shot. You can be sitting on your porch watching somebody else fight and get shot. You could be walking down the street and get shot. So getting shot. I mean, these people walking around here shooting each other for any reason. You could be in an argument and get shot in the hood. So let's not act like this woman created this big heinous thing. She, this is like in the hood. You're in the hood. you in the hood. You 
know you're in the hood. Now, most people in the hood is there for one or two reasons. One, either you can't do no better, or two, you don't want to do no better. Let me, say, let, let, let me say something real quick. Because these young ladies, because <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not bashing nobody, but these young ladies had the audacity to be angry at that woman for shooting that boy. Now, <laughs> see, I grew up in the hood. The problem I got with that is this. I, I feel bad that the, the young man lost his life behind it. But I don't know about nobody else. If I come home and I see somebody crawling out my window, it could be somebody visiting my door. And I got my gun on me, he getting my hot one. Just, just that simple. He getting a hot one. If I'm riding down the street and somebody grabbed my door handle and I got my gun in my lap in the car with me, pow, he getting a hot one. If I'm walking out my anywhere and somebody run up on me talking about anything crazy and I got my gun on me, he getting a hot one. I don't understand why you would think it would be any different because I know you, sister. I may not know, know your name, know where you live at, but I know you. You just like everybody else down the block. See, because some as long as it ain't happening to you, you good. But if you're doing it to somebody else, you... you because you that sister that will get 15 brothers, 25 cousins, every aunt and uncle you got to go down the street to a, nut, to a girl that's living by herself and jump everybody in the family. Well, but they still be alive. Not, not these days. These days, they be the killed. Or was less than stealing. I heard she was talking about my boyfriend. And you jump on somebody. I heard you, you said something to my mama, and you jumping on somebody. So why, when this woman caught this guy coming out of his house, her house, and, 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 and they started to struggle, would you not expect this woman to fight back or to shoot? She had a gun. Now, I, I, again, I feel bad because this man lost his life. But, I believe this woman had all the right in the world to protect what was hers. At the beginning of the story, they said that she had already been burglarized before. That was the reason for the video cameras. She bought video cameras because she had been burglarized before. And you come home, you, you got a gun because you live alone. You got a cameras because you've been burglarized before for protection. And you come home and you see somebody coming out your house. Now, we know statistics tell us that if you get robbed in your house, in your home, and you can be robbed in the streets, it's very unlikely that the police will find your attacker. Very unlikely. So, you come home, and this is how it went down. You get home. The cops are already coming. You got your gun on you. You get home. You see the guy coming out your window. You pull your gun. Hold up. Stop. The police on their way. You stay right where you are. You think that joker's going to stay there and wait for the police? He seen a chick. He said, I can overpower her. He went to try to move and grabbed her and tried to take the gun, and the gun went off. Unfortunately, it went off in his chest. Now, we're going to back up. We want Gus. And I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm born in the, I was raised in the hood too. I know what it is. Now, the young lady also made a statement. She said, you got to look at it from the place of the hood. How is this young man supposed to get his school clothes for school? That mentality is killing us today. The mentality that only way to get something for ourselves or to do better for ourselves is to steal it, take it, Illegally, anything illegal. The legal, only way we can get hustle for it, the only way we can get anything is doing it illegally. I was a young man growing up in the hood. I had a paper route to start with. A paper route. But the problem is, after that, I worked at every fast food restaurant known to man. 
Sometimes I was working at two or three at one time just to make ends try me. You tell a young man today that he got to go to McDonald's, Burger King, or fast food restaurant or something like that where he got to try to make a young man. Nine out of those ten be like, I ain't going no porn. I mean, I ain't going no fast food. I ain't working at McDonald's. I ain't working at Burger King. And one of the reasons why they won't, you know why? Because all you in the hood see that young man going to work at McDonald's or Burger King and you make jokes about him going to work. You clown him for going to work, for trying to make something out of himself. You're trying to do something better than just stand on the corner. You make jokes about him. So he feels self-conscious. I ain't going to be no part of no joke. I ain't going to work at McDonald's. But, but you see him standing on the corner selling drugs and, oh, sir, baby, he gave all those smiles and stuff. That's the mentality that you had. And then you wonder why the jails is full of black people. While graves is going is being filled up fast. Half the people that go in the grave, the black children in the graves, didn't put their parents didn't even have insurance on. The state had to pay for be buried. And let's not get on that because the simple fact is that we know that statistics show us 96% of the blacks that are killed today are killed by other blacks. So chances are, if I get killed, somebody my same skin color don't kill me. And this is the mentality that we have in the hood. This is why we had the hoods. Because everybody in the hood think they ain't got no way out. They don't, I got to have more babies. I got to be on the system. I got to sell drugs. I got to sell my body. I got a question. What happened to going to school? Whatever happened to working for a living? My parents, my grandparents made a point of that. We went to school and nothing else. We went to school and church. We went to school and church. Now you can't get a child to go to school or to church. Once they hit 15 years old, it's everything is on shaky ground. And they in the hood. Listen, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a psychiatrist. I don't have a, a BA or any of that stuff. But I understand math. One plus one makes two. I understand science. The science is if you keep doing the same thing over and over. Most likely you'll get the same outcome. So don't expect something different. Don't expect the woman down the street not to shoot her gun if she got one for protection. And then you got your gun. So when you shoot somebody, you expect this to be on your side. Listen, I feel bad for the family. I feel bad that the mom or whoever the parents was didn't have the money to give the child. I feel bad that the mom and them couldn't focus the child's attention towards a job of some type. No, he said, I got, I got, I can do it quicker. I can get my money and clothes quicker by going in here. So now he doesn't have a life. Now he doesn't have a future. Now he can't have children. He can't get married. He can't have a future. Because he decided to go in that woman's house. Nine times out of ten, she ain't gonna get nothing but a slap on the wrist because her gun was legal. She he was caught on her property. They was facing each other, so she could say she was defending herself. So she probably ain't gonna get no time. But she's gonna get a whole lot of flack from everybody in the hood. Talking about you shouldn't have killed that boy. He, he was better than that. If he was better than that, he shouldn't have been coming through a woman. I know you're going to start sending me all kinds of emails and texts. That's fine. But stop lying to yourself. We have to live in one world. And what's good for the goose is good for the game. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't, don't forget to hit that like button. And hit that uh, bell down bottom. So you can get my updates on the next, on my next video. But... All in all, I'm Calvin. Adrian! <laughs>